This is a uh, articulated human skeleton. Um, stands about, I would believe, five foot four, maybe five foot four inches tall. And as you can see, there is some slight damage that needs to be corrected. This particular articulated skeleton is probably maybe 75 years old, give or take. I might be a little wrong. I might be off a little bit. But let me just go over everything here. Now, this is just for medical research only, education purposes only. That's what I'm making this video for. This uh, particular... Uh, Skeleton came out of a medical research school back in the 70s. And it's in pretty good shape. I would love to see this one go to a another research school or a student that I could utilize and educate people in. As you can see, it has the spring and then the locking of the skull on the one side. And we have it on the other side. So now the skull itself, I'm no osteology person as far as uh, learning all the different bone structures of a, of a human body. But it, uh, as you can see, it is missing one tooth. Other than that, uh, the skull is in pretty good condition. It does have all the bolts and clamps and wires as you can see here, uh, can't remember the name of this, <laughs> but I'm sorry, you know, I apologize for not remembering. Uh, but as you can see, there's a pin missing here, which would attach just like this side. Let me just show you on this side. As this side was attached, if you're facing the back, this one is not attached. So it did cause some damage to the rib cage back in here. Has a couple cracks there, one up there. So you have one there, a couple there, and a couple little pieces missing here. But as you could see, has all the little pins and everything in the spinal column. This particular side over here is in pretty good shape. The feet, the bone structure of the feet is in good shape, except the right needs to be reattached. And the way they hinge the knees, we have right here, one on this side, one on that side. And the hips, as you can see the bolts reinforced into the hip bone here elbows as far as the hands all the fingers are there all the finger bones the elbows there we go. Then as far as the hanging, again, this is uh, quite a few years old. Now, as far as legality goes, in the United States, there's only four states that are illegal to either own, export, or import any human articulated skeleton or skull. One is New York, the other is uh, Louisiana, Georgia, I believe, yeah, Georgia is one, and Tennessee. So there are four states in the United States as of now, 2016, <clears throat> excuse me, that are illegal to own an articulated skeleton. So other than that, it is legal to transport, export, in any state, 
except those four states I mentioned, and I believe Canada uh, is legal. So now as far as back in the 1980s, I believe, in the early 80s, they banned import from Asia, India, and those countries, China. They used to uh, import these for educational purposes, but they banned that in the 1980s. So they're no longer uh, importing them from those countries or other countries. Uh, eBay, I believe in 2015, maybe beginning of 2016, uh, you're not allowed to sell these anymore. They used to sell them, sell them on eBay, but no more. They changed the rules there. It's not a state issue or, um, you know, it's their, it's their rules. So um, I forgot to tell you. The shoulder area here is disconnected. You remember what that? And then in the breastbone there. See how it's broken there. But other than that, I mean, if you're into the medical research and you're able to repair these, which is doesn't seem to me very, very hard, um, it won't be too bad to do. As far as what the price range of these go for, they're hard to get. Very, very hard to get. If you look online, there's a few companies that do still sell these to uh, medical research companies or colleges, I'm sorry, or schools or what have you, doctors, dentists, um, and there are some private collectors. Some people would think it's kind of weird. Um, probably when I first acquired this, I, I did think it was kind of strange, but if you look at it as a human educational uh, purpose and nothing else I mean no, don't get into this weird stuff or anything like that you know it doesn't seem weird because we all are humans now this was a person at one time but I'm sure he or she was donated and to me it kind of resembles a woman because of the uh, how small the five foot four five foot four inches but again, if I do sell this thing, I, I would love to just either sell it to somebody that's going to be in the medical research and be used to teach students about all the different bones. And I'm telling you right now, there are tons of names for all this. So there you go. Just wanted to show you this and hopefully you'll learn from it. One more time. So in the future, you could use this as a reference. And I'm sure you'll have a lot to say about it. But please keep your uh, response at a positive. Oh, there's one more, one more break there on the rib in the front. This side on the front looks really good. So, you know, not too many, just the one. And then on this side... A couple, there's three here, and a couple little pieces missing. So, um, not too bad as far as imperfections. There you go. Again, please keep your your uh, you know your blogs at a positive, and, and please don't say anything negative. Thank you.